So guys, we closed the gap, we reached $8,100 again, but still Bitcoin is within the same channel and although I have some thoughts regarding technical analysis issues, but today I would like to talk about a very interesting correlation which is posted on Twitter by Philp Philp and basically this correlation predicts the price action of Bitcoin with a high accuracy during the long period of time and now we have a new inflection point suggesting that something very significant will happen with Bitcoin price. As you see blue line here is the price of Bitcoin and green line is the capitalization of Tether. So Phil Phil mentioned that there was a significant change in the capitalization of Tether and the price of Bitcoin followed this change after a certain delay. I would like to show you this in details and even a part of the correlations which happened before the drop of the price from $6,000 to $3,000, we can find many cases when it worked out with amazing accuracy. So again, let's start with this decrease in the capitalization in the beginning of October. It went down significantly and 33 days after that we saw the decline in the price of Bitcoin. Then after that the lowest point of the capitalization of Tether happened on November 15th and 32 days after that we saw the bottom of the price of Bitcoin. So very similar delays and very similar magnitude of the drops. So after that, a part of the minor correlations, you can find also this area when the price of Bitcoin was going lower and lower, while somewhere here the capitalization of Tether started to grow and 32, well around 32 days after that, we see the change in the trend of Bitcoin price. We saw this significant rise, which again very similar in the magnitude to the capitalization of the other change as well. And then sideways price action. So one more significant correlation happened recently when you see this tether capitalization changes a lot from the beginning of April and then 28 days later we saw the rise in the price of Bitcoin. Again the magnitude of the change is very similar. The period when it started also very similar. Finally we had the local peak of the tether capitalization on April 24th and 33 days later we saw the top of the price of Bitcoin. And now there is an interesting part. So here it was the local low of the capitalization of Tether, May 7th, then 33 days later, basically day before yesterday, we saw this low in the price of Bitcoin once again. And at the moment you see the capitalization of Tether was going higher and higher during all those 33 days, but the price action actually was sort of following this area of the tether capitalization. So it went lower and now if, if you'd follow the same correlation you would expect to see the price of Bitcoin will go higher the same way as the capitalization of tether went. Of course there is no like absolute precision in this period so maybe this will happen like not yesterday or not tomorrow but maybe within a week or something like that. But it's hard to believe that if this correlation will play out then the following rise in the price of Bitcoin will happen later than one week, well maybe still a little bit later, but I would expect this to happen like within a week, maybe even like next few days we'll already see some first signs of the price going higher. In fact this divergence between the rise of the capitalization of Tether and the price of Bitcoin happened once before around here. So you see despite the rise of capitalization we see the decline in the price, but again 33 days later this correlation played out and we saw the rise in the price again. So considering the magnitude of the capitalization growth recently, I would say that we may see the rise in the price of Bitcoin to something like at least $10,000, maybe even higher. And also it would depend on at which area the tether capitalization will stop, maybe it will continue to grow, then the Bitcoin price growth may also continue to the level much higher than $10,000. So uh, what I would suggest, it's probably better to look at this capitalization curve. And in fact, you probably know that in 2017th, a lot of the Bitcoin growth was associated with the fact that a lot of Tether was used to buy Bitcoin. So with the increase of the Tether capitalization, Bitcoin price also was growing. So maybe the same thing is happening right now. You know there is also a LEO token right now associated with Bitfinex, which may be guilty at some point in this situation as well. But in any case, I think it is really interesting correlation and I would closely look at this. Saying that, of course guys, it's just my personal opinion, not a 
financial advice, but I think this is really, really convincing. And by the way, just before I started to record this video, there was a tweet from Whale Alert that $150 million minted at Tether Treasury. So the craze is continuing, guys. What I was going to mention as well is that Philip Philp also plotted this chart with the total capitalization of the cryptocurrencies market. And we can see that you can draw the support level around here in 2018. It was a support level, then it became a resistance. And recently we broke it upwards, struggled with it a little bit, and then went even higher, which was followed by a pullback. And with this pullback, the level of support held. And from the classical standpoint, you would say that, okay, we went higher, we tested the support, now we can continue to grow more. And in fact, if it would be some kind of a trading pair, then you would probably put the stop loss just below this support line. But in our case, we are just expecting Bitcoin. And by the way, this is all cryptocurrencies market capitalization. So not only Bitcoin, but all the altcoins also going higher. And this actually supports the previous data which I showed you above the correlation of the tether capitalization and price of Bitcoin. This also suggests that we more likely will go higher than we'll continue to have a correction. And as you remember, we were discussing the fact that right now a lot of the people out there, traders, investors, they expect that the price will continue to decline. We'll see the deeper correction, those 30-40% drops. But this kind of data gives us a hint that it's very likely that they will appear to be wrong and some of them will lose their trade if they open short position or at least will be out of the long position while the price will go upwards without them. In any case, guys, let's see what will happen. It's not that long time to wait. Maybe this will be broken and nothing will happen. But if it will play out, then it will be an amazing rally. And that is it for today. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.